How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Band here, bringing you another shootout commentary. That's right. And in this shootout, I want to talk about my Toronto Maple Leafs and the draft last night. You know, the draft was good. Saw some trades. Jordan Stahl going to Carolina, reunited with Eric Stahl. Um, what's it called? Mike Ribeiro going to Washington, probably trying to uh, replace Alexander Semin over there. So there were some good trades. Uh, but I was getting messages from people saying, Johnny, what do you think about Morgan Riley being drafted to the Toronto Maple Leafs? All right, so... With the Leafs' first and second pick, they drafted two defensemen, Morgan Riley, all right, and Matthew Finn, I believe. So, and I was getting messages saying, Johnny, why didn't they grab uh, Philip Forsberg? He was up there. We need forwards. We need forwards. You know what, boys? I agree with that, but uh, the only thing I can think of is if uh, Brian Burke drafts two defensemen, maybe there's a trade coming up in the next few days. Hang on a sec. i got to get Lupul in there, Kessel, Connolly. Connolly's actually not bad on a shootout. Uh, MacArthur, no. i got to put Captain Fanoff. And Garbajowski, no, we got to put the, arguably our best defenseman, Jake Gardner, in there. There you go. All right, and goaltender, Jim Reimer. Goosestons, actually, his rights have been traded to the Winnipeg Jets for a seventh, uh, a conditional seventh pick. So there you go, uh, Goof. Go have uh, good good luck in Winnipeg. All right, but yeah, the draft, boys. Um, the only thing I can think about is if we drafted a defenseman, two defensemen, then maybe guys like Cody Franzen, Luke Shen, and Jesse Blacker are now available for a trade, right? We draft two defensemen and now we can trade defensemen away because we have young guys coming up in the system once again. So that's that's the only thing I can think of. Maybe the uh, Lupul, no, not the Lupul, the Luongo trade is working out and it's going to be a defenseman going back the other way. Maybe the Nash trade is working out. You know, I'm, I'm speculating. I don't know. But that's the only thing I can think of because I do agree that we needed uh, forwards, but what are you going to do, right? Morgan Riley, hang, hang on a second here. Joffrey Lupul, let's try something fancy. Let's try something fancy on Lou. Oh, oh, there it is again, Joffrey. Very nice. The only thing I can think of about Morgan Riley, I was I was looking at some highlights. He is strictly an offensive defenseman. Obviously, he can learn how to be a defensive defenseman. Get out of here. You know, you don't want to watch my replay? I'll watch it myself. Get out of here, son. I was too good to pass up. All right. But, uh, yeah, man, like, could you imagine? I don't think Morgan Riley's going to be NHL ready this year. He may get, I don't know, 10 starts if injuries happen. Um, if we start to shit the bed, you know, we might just call him up. But um, could you imagine, what's it called, Jake Gardner with uh, either Luke Shen or uh, Dion Phaneuf, and then the second line, Morgan Riley with either Dion Phaneuf or Luke Shen. So there's your top four, a defensive defenseman with another offensive puck-moving defenseman. That's pretty good, all right? But I still go back to what I said before. I think the reason we got Morgan Riley, I think either Jesse Blacker, Cody Franzen, maybe Luke Shen, I hope Luke Shen doesn't go, but Jesse Blacker or Cody Franzen, I, I see them being traded I don't know when, but sometime this offseason, I see them being traded, okay? Because um, I agree, Philip Forsberg was there. Now, Philip Forsberg wasn't going to be NHL ready for at least at least another year. Hang on, Hendrick Sedin. You know what I got to do? Jim Reimer, baby! <laughs> Flying pole. What? No, there's no way that's a goal. There's no way that... Okay, you're damn right that's not a goal. Holy crap. But that's the only reason I think... Um, I think a trade is coming in the next few days. And especially since our second round, we drafted another defenseman. So here we go here. Uh, Philly Kessel, we did a nice shot the first one. Let's do a Gordy Howe the second one with Phil the Thrill, baby. Oh, what's he doing? Come away out of the... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Phil Kessel tripped. I was just going to walk it into the net. Oh, he tripped me. Referee, that's an automatic goal. You can't, you can't purposely trip. Oh, my God, Philly. Get off the ice, Phil Kessel. My God, diver right there. You pulled the, uh, the Kessel button or the uh, Kessler button. Mason Raymond, fake. Get out of here, son. Get out of here. You got nothing for me. Diving all over the place with the Y dive. All right, so I thought it was a great draft last night. Uh, some good trades, some good drafts. Um, I loved how Malcolm Subban went to the Boston Bruins. I want to see Boston versus Montreal with Malcolm Subban starting. That's going to be funny. That's going to be real funny. Oh, here we go, Connolly. Yep, get out of here. Get out of here, you goof. Why diving goof. <laughs> oh, you've lost connection to the other player. What a little baby. He doesn't want to watch the replays, and then he quits halfway through. All right, all right, all right. Can't be ended right here. You guys get two for the price of one tonight because I got uh, the draft. There's a lot to talk about in the draft. So yeah, for Leaf fans, I think keep your eye on that. Now, if a trade doesn't happen, um, it's not the end of the world because we have our, our all of our defensemen are still young. So the defenseman trade may come a year from now. It may come two years from now because eventually Jake Gardner, Morgan Riley, Luke Shen, Dion Phaneuf, Cody Franzen, Jesse Blacker, they're all going to be ready NHL ready. All right, so eventually one of them is going to have to move. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we can get that Justin Schultz guy from uh, from Anaheim. He's going to be an unrestricted free agent. I think he's already an unrestricted free agent. I think it was today. 
Hang on, Lupo, Kessel, Connolly. Let's get Fanuf in there and Jake Gardner. Jake Gardner, Jake Gardner. There he is. And Reimer, put him in there, all right? Yeah, so that's what I was thinking with the Toronto Maple Leafs. I think eventually one of our defensemen are going to be traded now because we do have a plethora of young defensemen. We really do. I'm really excited about this Morgan Riley AI. Um, they were saying, they were comparing him to Jake Gardner. They were saying he plays that kind of style. Puck-moving defenseman, offensively minded. He was the best offensive defenseman in the draft, apparently, okay? So I'm very excited, but he's, he's not going to play next year again. Um, I don't see him playing next year unless he has a really good preseason like Jake Gardner did uh, last year. Jake Gardner wasn't supposed to play this year, but he blew everyone away. So it is possible, but Leaf fans, Leaf Nation, keep an eye out. Hang on, I can do the same thing with Lupul again. Hang on, let's see if it works again. Boom, baby. Oh, I did the bad one. God damn it, what? I did the bad one where it actually, man, I, it wouldn't have worked anyways. I think he had it saved. Whatever, though. Yeah, I, I think a trade for the Toronto Maple Leafs is coming. And did anyone watch the draft when uh, Brian Burke was talking to James Duffy, man? Brian Burke, he is great on front of the camera. <laughs> He's hilarious. He's like, uh, he was asking him about Luongo. Hang on a sec. Flying poke check for sure. Fly pokeroo, baby! There it is! He was asking, uh, James Duffy was asking Brian Burke about uh, Luongo. And he's like, uh, you've asked me this before. I can't talk about uh, players under contract. <laughs> James Duffy's like, yeah, I've asked you before. I'll probably ask you again. So let me ask you this. Hang on a sec. Uh, Phil Kessel. Gordy Howe again. We have Phil Kessel. I didn't like it the first time. Gordy! Oh, come on. I had it. He pressed the Y button. He's like, uh, how about any goalie? Are you going after any goalie? And Brian Burke's like, that's classified. I tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> On TV, man. It's so funny. Brian Burke, he gets me. When I hear stuff like that, he makes me uh, want him to stay as our GM. But, oh, my God. I thought it was a good draft day for the Toronto Maple Leafs. You know, the trade didn't happen, but whatever. You know what? We're just getting younger. And that Morgan Riley guy, I don't know. And I saw, like, the way he uh, his dad celebrated. This guy... He's Canadian, all right? His dad is a Leaf fan. Connolly, he's got slick hands. What? Where's my shot that goes in short side? All right, so when that Don Cherry is blasting Brian Burke for not drafting any Canadians, not having any Canadian prospects, well, there you go, Don. He just drafted two Canadians. I think that Matthew Finn guy was Canadian as well, all right? So it was a good draft day for the Toronto Maple Leafs, for sure. Get out of here. Where are you going with it? Backhand, get out of here. Son, Jim Reimer's got that. All right, but the Montreal Canadiens, they got Alex Galchenyuk, so they should be good. I think he may start for them next year because they're at the bottom of the barrel, so play him. Uh, Yakupov went to the uh, Edmonton Oilers. Hang on a sec. Dion Phaneuf, big slap shot, baby. Big slapper! Oh, he just gloves it. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. That's a rebound glove save for sure. Whatever. Um, Yakupov went to the Edmonton Oilers, and they were saying, my God, they could have uh, Taylor Hall, Nugent Hawkins, and Yakupov all in the first line. Three years of first overall picks, and that's crazy. Um, hang on a sec. Who is coming down? Come on, who is this? Who is this? What you got for me, huh? What you got for me? You got nothing for me, son. Get out of here. Who went second? Who went second? Was it the Islanders? Uh, who went second? Oh, I f damn, I totally forget. It was that Reinhardt guy, I think. Oh, man, I forget. I'm too, I'm too caught up right here. Jake Gardner. All right, what should we do with Jake? He's a silky smooth skater. Let's go one-handed fake. One-handed fake. One hand fake, backhand again. Ah, oh, come on. I wanted to go backhand. I shot it too quick. Jake Gardner. So, yeah, what was I saying? If we can sign that Justin Schultz guy, Jake Gardner and Morgan Riley, whoo, in one year. One year we get Morgan Riley and Justin Schultz and then uh, Jake Gardner who's come onto the scene. If we get Justin Schultz, an unrestricted free agent, we're definitely going to be trading away. Get out of here, flag poke. You want to go slow? There you go. You want to go slow? There you go. All right, he could have won it. Uh-uh, son, get out of here. All right, I got a score goal here. I've got a score goal. This shootout commentary has been going on for a long time. We're at one and a half here. You know what? I'm just going to come in and do a jackass shot. Nice and slow. Stop up. Nice and slow. Backhand. Come on! This guy's doing manual saves and he's just staying there. What did that hit? Oh, I just hit his toe. Get the hell out of here, man. What the hell? And that's why we should trade freaking Clark MacArthur, man. I hate that guy. Mark Method? They got Mark Method taking a shot? Oh, my God. I should definitely do a flying poke check to this guy. He's got no hands. He's got no hands. Get out of here, son. Get out of here. Not even if you did hit the net, I was there. You didn't even hit the net with it. Get the hell out of here. All right. All right. Just got to score. This guy's doing, what's he doing? He's doing uh, manual saves. Garbageowski. Let's do the Garbageowski fake spinorama. All right. The follow-through spinorama. Here it is. Here it is. There it is. Oh, come on, man. How does he just glove that? Jesus. Oh, I lost it for a second. Maybe that. Ah, oh, come on, man. This shootout commentary is going way too long. All right, who is this? Jack Johnson. All right. 
Who do they got here? No, it was Columbus who was second. That's right, my bad. And they drafted that defenseman. Right, right, right. Okay, my bad. Uh, get out of here. Whoa, get out of here. I had that. I had that. Yeah, they uh, they drafted that uh, Reinhardt guy, I think. Yeah, I think. And then Galchenyuk went third. And then another defenseman went to the Islanders fourth. And then we got another defenseman. That was the story of the draft. Defenseman, defenseman, defenseman. Getting drafted everywhere. Here we go. Lyles, baby. There it is. The cover lay shot. It worked. It worked. Take another offensive defenseman's moves. There you go. Very nice. Little fake drag. Boom, baby. Always doing stacking the pads. All right, we got to end this now. We've got to end this with Jim Reimer, baby. We've got to end this with Jim Reimer. This is going way too long. Here we go. Here we go, Jim Reimer. Get out of here, son. Flying Pokeroo. There it is. In the Toronto Maple Leafs, the future is looking bright with another young gem of a defenseman. You know, he came off a big injury, but Morgan Riley. So, boys, any Toronto fans out there, let me know about Morgan Riley taking him over Philip Forsberg. I don't know. I think if you think about it, I think because a trade for Toronto, you got to think Brian Burke is working out a trade and defensemen are going to be traded. So get another defenseman that we can put in the cupboard for two or three years down the road and hopefully we can sign Justin Schultz. There's another defenseman and all of a sudden we can afford to get rid of uh, Luke Shen. Even though I don't want to, we can afford to get rid of uh, Cody Franz and we can afford to get rid of Jesse Blacker, all right? So that's my thought process. Let me know your thought process, Toronto fans. Let me know.